Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name's Troy, aka SoFlo Sneakers, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the top three things that every beginner sneaker botter should know. So right off the bat, if you clicked on this video thinking that I'm gonna be telling you which proxies to buy or which bots or which Gmails to get, this is not it. With how fast the sneaker game and the sneaker market is constantly changing, these proxies are working one day, this bot is working the next, and these Gmails are working the next. It just doesn't make any sense for me to go over that. But instead in this video, I'm gonna be going over the three things that I have personally found to be super beneficial and just things that I wish I knew when I just started sneaker botting because I really think that knowing these things would have just increased the time and basically just, if I had this knowledge, I think I could have became successful much faster in this space. This is more so just gonna be things about mindset and just about different concepts that I think people really need to understand if they they want to be able to take this game seriously but that's about it for the intro if you guys think that this video provided you value in any way make sure to drop a like button because it helps the channel grow and if you want to see more content similar to this one let me know down in the comments subscribe to the channel all that good stuff and um yeah thank you so much for everyone that's watching i hope this helps and on that note let's get into it So the first thing that we're going to be talking about and before you click off like after i say these two words i feel like people don't like like these words for some reason um just give me like a minute or two of, of kind of getting into it and then you know if you still don't like me or don't like what i have to say then obviously feel free to click off but the first thing is just going to be mindset and expectations basically i think there's a very skewed version of what sneaker botting is and you know everyone just sees the hundred clips right we all know these big cookers. We know AYCD Jake. We know Tiana. We know my boy Cooklo. Um, sneaker homie, sneaker homie. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, there's always these people that we see on Twitter. And for anyone that doesn't know, Twitter is a very big um, sneaker Twitter. You know, is what it's called. And basically, um, everyone that does botting, does sneakers, pretty much has a Twitter and we're all involved in this space. So, you know, you always see these people hitting 100 clips on Twitter and I'm going to be the first person to tell you that this is just not the reality of it. A lot of people have seen my past couple live cops where, um, you know, I hit like 70 something slides, I hit 50 something foam runners and it's awesome, right? I, I loved it and of course I loved it, right? I made a ton of money. A lot of it is already sold. Point is, is that I've been doing this for over two years and um, I've been really doing it for about like a year and a half, but basically you have to keep your expectations realistic. If you look at all those big cookers, how long have they all been in the game? Three, four, five years. And unless you're just starting out and you know one of those people personally, like you know someone personally, who is just hitting those massive clips, they can sit down with you, say, okay, get this bot, buy these proxies, and then do this and do that. Okay, maybe you have a pretty decent shot. It's basically just a lot of trial and error. Sites are constantly changing, and usually if there's like a, a loop or people are just making a ton of money doing something, it doesn't last for long. And one other like off tangent point that I wanna talk about is that this industry is actually a diamond mine. And I truly believe that everyone can get a piece of the pie. Like it's just so true because no one's putting in the work like us. Like no one, no one is 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 trying to get these shoes at the scale that us sneaker botters and us resellers are trying to like you know even just for all my in-store homies like just looping stores making connections all all that stuff right like it's 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 sick i think it's sick it's a hustle um and the same thing goes for sneaker botters it's just like dude we are all putting in work we're spending money we're spending thousands on our setups we're spending a ton of time learning and testing and talking with people and it's just so funny to me when i see people just complaining they're just like these people suck and they're taking my personals and stuff like that and it's just like bro like go away like that's it, it's ridiculous to me and sure i have sympathy like i understand um you know like everyone wants their personal pair and stuff but that's just not life right if it was if it was so easy to get would people still really want these personals uh, who knows right if there wasn't demand there if there wasn't hype around it who knows what would kind of you know how how everything would be playing out now but to kind of drive it all home here set your expectations realistic make sure that you have the mindset that this takes time 
I think this space is a very entrepreneurial space. It's like if you're not putting in the work, no one's putting it in for you. So first point, I don't think this is for everyone, right? Point number two is what I just said is that it takes time. You really have to be putting in the time. You really have to be putting in the work and doing research, really making sure that you are constantly learning and adapting and trying to improve because that's the only way you're going to get better. The next thing I want to talk about is point number two, and this one's going to be cook groups and Yes, I own my own cook group. The name is SoFlow Supply, but that is not the point of me kind of going over this section. Um, I just want to talk about cook groups for beginners. I made a video like a year and a half ago, um, way before I had my own, but I'm not trying to sell anyone here. I'm just trying to give you the facts of like the first move that you do when you start sneaker botting. And I think the issue that a lot of people have is that they join a cook group that it's just not right for them. There's so many different cook groups out there. Some are younger, some are older, some are for more beginners, some are for more advanced. Some have, you know, more toxic communities. Some have nicer communities. You have to find what cook group is good for you. I really think the issue that a lot of people have is, you know, they're joining groups that are not meant for them. Maybe they're joining a cook group um, just because they have a bunch of group buys and stuff. And in reality, those things are not gonna help you become better, especially when you're just starting out. So here's my advice for finding a cook group. It's, it's I was talking to, to a buddy of mine the other day about this actually. Um, so my one piece of advice is forget all the group buys, forget the monitors, forget the low key flips, forget the early links and this and that and this and that. The one feature that you wanna pay for and, and make sure that you are paying for this one thing and your money is going to good work is going to be support, okay? The point of a cook group is to be able to ask questions and get expert support in a timely manner. Let me just elaborate on this really quick before people get bored. So essentially, you just start out, you're not sure what to do, you join a cook group, 30, 40, $50 a month, whatever it is, you wanna be able to ask, hey, um, is it a good idea to buy this bot or should I rent this bot? Is it a good idea to start kind of prioritizing this site or this site? And just having the ability to have an expert support member just say, don't do that, all right? That's a terrible idea and you will lose a lot of time and a lot of money on that. That piece of information just from them saying, no, don't go down that route, just saved you probably hundreds of dollars, you know, tens of 20 more hours just in time. And that's that 30, 40, $50 a month fee in action, right? That's the number one thing that you need to make sure you are being provided. If you join a cook group early on in your career of, of sneaker botting, you need to make sure that you are getting expert support from people who have been doing this for years. It doesn't matter how much money it is, as long as it's not some ridiculous price. Like if you're joining a 30, 40, 50, even 60, $70 a month group, but they are able to just give you expert guidance, the amount of time, the amount of knowledge that you're gonna gain is just ridiculous. It is, it is insane and that, in my my opinion is the number one move for any beginner to do. Um, so that's point number two. And there's another thing that I wanted to talk about that ties right into learning as well. And this is going to be documenting everything you do. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I did this personally because I did for some things, right? So like if anyone's seen my AYC, you know, the number one secret that all beginner sneaker botters should know, it's basically an AYCD tutorial about farming your Gmails. And in this tutorial, like, two months before that like i was a farming wizard like i knew everything about farming i did so much research i was reaching out to everyone i possibly knew and i was documenting everything to the like right there like everything was documented i was like okay i did this this and this for this gmail and i got a one click i was documenting everything and that video now has over a hundred thousand views and i think I was able to help a lot of people with Gmail farming. And the only reason that I was able to get so good at it and really see what was working and what wasn't is because I was documenting everything down to the smallest things. And my advice to everyone just starting out is you need to do that for everything. And I know it's like, oh, I'm lazy. You know, I know everyone's lazy. I'm lazy. Everyone is lazy at points. And most people are not just these disciplined animals who are just like, you know, writing crazy, you know, going crazy basically, but you need to be documenting everything because that's the only way that you're going to be able to look back and really see what is working and what is not. And so I'm going to drive this home with an example. So basically guys, something that I was doing for the past like two months previous to these massive clips on Yeezy supply is I was really documenting everything that happened after the drop. 
And another piece of advice that I didn't really know was going to be helpful until I just, you know, discovered it one day. But dude, re download OBS, download Streamlabs and record your screen during the drop because, you know, I was obviously doing it for YouTube and I never really kind of thought about it in this way before. But everyone should be recording their screen and seeing what the hell happened during the drop. You're like, oh, OK, I got this error message or OK, this Gmail was working or this or that. And, you know, it's just another source of documentation that I think is is extremely helpful. Record what's happening during the drop. And then after the drop, get a piece of paper, get a pencil, get a pen and write down what happened. OK, this proxy had X checkouts. This bot did pretty good. This bot didn't do so good. This Gmail is passing splash a lot. Oh, it looks like I got throttled on Shopify. Maybe it's time for a new IP address or just anything, any little thing that you can think about. And then after the drop, if you know, your cook group posts a drop recap, or maybe you hit your boys up and you're like, Hey guys, like what worked here? What worked there? Um, and just really be documenting this stuff. And because it's so important on seeing what's working and what's not, if you wrote down which proxies worked or maybe which Gmail worked or which, you know, whatever worked the best and you can go back three weeks in a row. You're like, okay, wow. Like this one thing has really been working. Like it's time for me to kind of ditch all this other stuff. And you know, what? I'm just going to put a lot of my eggs in this proxy or this Gmail company or this bot. And just, it's really about finding what works for best for you. And there's no way that everyone's keeping it up in here because that's just not realistic. You're going to forget stuff if you don't write it down. And that just goes for all of life, all of business. Documentation is beyond important. And it's just something that is really just going to help take your learning curve from here all the way down to here. Like I said, I did not do this all of my way up until this point, but I have been doing it the past couple months and I was just making small adjustments and small improvements on that, you know, talking to my friends and saying, okay, this kind of worked for them or this cook group, you know, you're just kind of scrolling main chat and people are talking about this proxy or this Gmail or this bot. And you know, you're looking at checkout numbers on Twitter and it's just all these things compiled into one. And eventually when you're writing it down enough, it's all just going to click at once. And that's how I feel. And that, that's what I feel like happened on these past couple drops. So that's the two points. Find a good cook group, find a cook group that provides support and you will excel much faster than anyone who is not doing that. The next point is just documenting everything guys, write it all down, see what's working, see what's not. Like I said, keep the good, throw out the bad and just do that after every single drop and you will improve so quickly that it is, you don't even know what to do anymore. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. You will improve so quickly. That's what's going to take you to the next level in the quickest amount of time possible. So now that we went over things like mindset, um, expectations, we went over cook groups, we went over documentation. The next point, which is the third point, which is going to be by far my favorite. This is the biggest thing in life and in business. And I, I truly believe this is the biggest thing is going to be connections. So the sneaker game is full of connections. It is, it is the biggest thing in my opinion that is really going to take you to the next level is just knowing people who are higher up, knowing people who have these certain skills. And like I said, this just goes for all of life. This is my favorite thing. This is my favorite point on the list, my favorite thing to talk about. And because at the end of the day, like in, in the sneaker body game, like for the most part, um, it really doesn't matter how much money you have, because if you don't know this dev or you don't know someone who knows the developer of this crazy limited bot, you're not getting the bot, you know, unless you offer them some absurd amount of money, which you're not going to make back, you know, and that's just kind of one example. The other thing could be like, you know, you're friends with someone who who's kind of hitting clips. You're like, hey, you know, like which proxies have you been using? You know, which Gmails? And, and I'm not saying to like be a mooch and just be like mad annoying to everyone. But like if you're actually friends with someone, if you're cool with people like, yeah, you can ask those kind of questions rather than just some random person reaching out and like, yeah, what proxies? What bot? What Gmails? What's your social security number? Like all that nonsense that people, you're just gonna get ignored, right? And it's, it's connections are huge is, is the point that I'm trying to make. And um, kind of going off that, one thing that I wanted to talk about, when you're just starting out or when you're at the intermediate level, like you need to be marketing within your realm, right? Like stop hitting up the top chefs, stop hitting up people who are hitting 100 clips because in reality, you provide no value to them. Like what value are you gonna provide? And if there is something that you can provide value to them like for, 
then tell them that, right? But in most cases, you're probably not gonna be providing much value to them in terms of sneaker botting and in terms of proxies or setup or anything. So why are they gonna help you out, right? And they probably won't. I still get probably like 20 to 30 DMs a day and I do my best to help people out and provide support in the DMs. And I really do like respond to probably like, you know, obviously there's messages that get lost, but I really do try and respond to like 90% of people, but I don't mind. I, I, that's why I make all these YouTube videos. I love it, like I said, but the point being is that you need to be marketing and you need to be reaching out to people who are two steps ahead of you, not 20 steps ahead of you, because that's how you're gonna get the fastest results. And you need, you know, if you're not hitting any pairs right now, go reach out to the person who hit one or two and you're like, hey man, I saw you were able to hit a pair today, dude, congrats. And oh, next point, next point on a tangent, stop saying yo or hey, and that's it. I hate that. When people reach out to me, they're like, hey, I'm just like, hello, like, what's up? What's going on, dude? Like, they're like, oh, nothing. What about you? What's up? I'm just like, chilling dude what's what's going on say what you want to say like if you want to ask me something and i'm not trying to be a dick when i say this but i guarantee i speak for many people when i'm saying this is like say what you want to say so i can know like if i want to respond to that or not because if not like it's honestly i'd rather be doing something else than than you know if you're like hey i'm like hey you're like what proxies did you use? I'm just like, I don't mind helping people out. And that's not kind of the point that I'm trying to say. It's just like, tell me what you think is going to be better. If you reach out to me and you're like, yo, that's what that, that's scenario one is you just say, yo, or it's like, you say, hey, SoFlo, you know, big fan of the videos, dude. Congrats on the clip. You, you, you're you a big inspiration to the, what, whatever it is, right? I'm not just gonna like sit here and go off on that tangent about myself, but basically it's just like, hey man, you know, if you have a minute, would you mind just, you know, kind of, I've been having this question for a long time. I've just been so, I haven't been able to get a straight answer. And you know, if you have a minute, would you mind to help me out, blah, blah, blah. Which one am I gonna respond to? Like, let's be honest, yo, or like the nice thought out message with someone who actually took uh, two minutes out of their day to type something up who to get help right so that's kind of the point guys state what you want to state no one has an obligation to respond to you so you need to do your best when you are marketing when you're trying to make connections when you're trying to grow you need to do your best to you know be as friendly be as nice as possible and just make people want to talk to you that's i just kind of went off on that entire tangent there but first point is is that you want to be marketing in your realm um of course you know i say reach out to everyone top chefs you're probably going to get ignored from 90 percent of them but hey maybe one responds and gives you a good piece of advice that that helps you out for the best results in the fastest amount of time possible market within your realm market with people who are just two steps ahead of you not 20. so that's the first point and the second point is i'm going to tell you guys good ways to market i think that first point is huge and just you know market within your realm and like just be nice and be genuine when you're reaching out to people. When you're doing those two things, first of all, that's what you wanna be doing every single time, right? You know, you're like, hey man, how's it going? Blah, 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 blah. You wanna be doing that every single time you reach out to someone because that's just the correct thing to do and that is just how you're gonna get the most responses. First place is a cook group, obviously, but you know, let's say you don't wanna join a cook group for whatever reason or you know, your cook group, whatever. Let's just say a cook group isn't, isn't the best option for you. Then the next best option is just going through your bot success channel. And yeah, some people hate this. I think it's a little annoying sometimes, but the thing is like, I answer people from that because I just, I like to help people out. Reach out to people that have success with your bot. Go through proxy companies. There's so many different Discord and Gmail servers. There's, there's, thousands and thousands of people posting success every after every single job if you reach out to enough of them i am sure you can get a pretty solid survey of data to, to say that you know i'm sure you can get five answers okay four of them say this thing and then one of them says this thing okay i think these four are obviously the things that i'm going to go with and you know i appreciate all these people helping me out so go through go through that dude go through twitter some people will respond on twitter and just don't be afraid to reach out. I know it might be a little contradicting when I'm saying like, don't reach out to top chefs. And I'm not saying don't reach out. I'm just saying that like your chances of getting a response are probably much more slim and it might just become like a waste of time after a little bit of doing it. But don't be afraid to reach out to anybody. It doesn't really matter who it is. Like I know some people are like, don't DM me ever again. You know, it's like, it's like at 
at slash DM equals ban. It's just like, all right, like I don't agree with that personally. That's besides the point. Like if someone's really just a dick to you for reaching out and you send them a nice message and stuff, then then forget about them, right? They they are they obviously have issues of their own and that's not your concern. <laughs> so the point being is like no one should really be getting mad at you for reaching out unless you're just being like annoying or unless you're just like, yo, that's that's kind of the the big point there. So go in your cook group, go make friends, um, go in your bots, go in your Gmail, go in your proxy server discords, go on Twitter, um, you know, and just go and just find ways to reach out. It's a volume game. Like just reach out to as many people as you possibly can. So that's kind of the point guys, make connections, make friends, because that is gonna be the single-handedly best way to kind of just move up the ranks within sneaker botting community. Because when I started, like I looked up to the staff of groups, like I was like staff owners, developers, like moderators, I was like, dude, those people are just legends. Like they're like, like this was when I was first starting out like two years ago, I was like, dude, like I, I, I just never thought that like I would, you know, be in the position of owning my own cook group or just having, having my own staff and stuff like that. And it's just like, I really put these people on a pedestal, but at the end of the day, it's like, dude, just reach out to them because then more than likely you're going to get one out of 10 responses that can actually change the entire way that you bought and think about this game and help you out and you can meet the right people, make some cool friends. And that's kind of the point. So basically reaching out, make sure you're reaching out when you're first starting, reach out to as many people as possible, provide value if you can. Don't be a dick. Don't just say yo, or don't just say, hey, ask your question, be nice about it, you know, be thoughtful in asking your questions, congratulate the person on the nice cook. Do like, you know, say I'm a big fan or say this or that. And even if you don't mean it, it's just like, it just provides people more incentive to help you out. And that's just the reality of it. That's how business works. That's how life works. So for the quick recap, we went over expectations. We went over mindset. We went over cook groups. We went over documenting. And then we also went over what it was last connections. All right, so it's like five things, but I kind of put them into like three different categories here. So these five things, if you can understand and do these five things to the best of your ability, that is how you are going to excel in this scene. And it's gonna be life too. Like these are really things that I've learned over the years. And these things are the most beneficial kind of ideas that I have learned throughout my time running my own business and being in this community. So if you can learn these five things, do these five things well, rather than taking you a year, it takes you six months. And um, you know, rather than doing this, you do that. And point being guys, listen to this video, watch it over again if you need to. And I really hope this was able to provide some value. I know I was a little harsh with some things that I was saying, but that's just the reality of it. And you know, I'm not gonna sit here sugarcoating anything because that's just not um, realistic. If you found value in this video and if you liked kind of the different points that I had to say, make sure to drop a like and let me know if you know these kind of videos are something you guys would wanna see. Let me know what you guys think about all the points I just discussed and hopefully there's some more like intermediate to advanced botters watching this and who can kind of touch on and elaborate on some of the points that I'm going over. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. And on that note, I'll catch everyone on the next one.